All right, let's go to 3H, test for duplicate payments and records. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, close this for a minute. And I'm going to make sure that I am posting this exercise 3H. So in this exercise, we're going to test to make sure that there are no duplicate payments and records. Uh, Mr. The CFO is concerned that mm, there are many more payments to certain suppliers compared to previous years. He's concerned that certain suppliers may be paid more than once for invoices or that some of those invoices are being resubmitted. So we're going to look for a duplicate key detection with multiple pay names. Uh, and we're also going to look at duplicate, duplicate key exclusions uh, uh, to look for supply numbers with multiple pay names as well. Uh, so let's start with opening our idea, right? So we're going to activate our idea accounts payable. Uh, notice that the Benford here is going to always be saved. So let me switch back to the data. And having done the data here, we can do an analysis under the Explore group looking for duplicate keys. And then there's one that says detection and one that says exclusion. So let's detect um, I put up duplicates. Uh, we are going to consider um, uh, an output of duplicate records to get a database containing any records that are duplicated with the following criteria. Uh, all right. So now that we have chosen to output duplicate records, let's define what are the keys that we're going to look at uh, to determine whether uh, we have duplicate payments. So we're going to look at supply number and the amount just, just uh, to ensure that even if it's a, dif a different, um, just to make sure that there's not a duplicate payment to the same supplier, because that would seem suspicious. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and press OK to define the key. And let's not define, and let's do not specify any additional criteria because um, this is where you would further eliminate something like, you know, the uh, range of dates or any other thing, something that has not, uh, that is not going to a particular vendor, et cetera. So you can uh, define additional um, parameters, I guess, for the extraction. All right, let me press OK. And then at that point, I'm going to see that I have three payments. Once again, look at these payments that are containing cash in the 7-5 category. That's kind of odd that I'm, and these are significant payments that are being authorized around the same time to the same person, M100, with different pay names that are kind of suspicious as well. And then you have P007 that happens to be, that happens to have an invoice that are very similar. Um, and although the supply number are the same, the record is different, right? So I think we're okay with Nelly Dunn. Um, all right. We can do that. We can also look at um, uh, duplicate numbers. Let's do another one, another duplicated key. Let me make sure that this that I'm not doing anything in additional. Uh, other possible tests could include duplicate supplier invoice numbers uh, and duplicate purchase orders. Uh, so let's close the duplicate payments database and let's test for supplier numbers with multiple pay names. So once again, I'm going to do the accounts payable. Do the I didn't take a picture, so you guys take a picture. Let's go ahead and, and open it. Open it up again. Duplicate payments. Duplicate payments. So I'm gonna open that real quick and print screen it. Put it over here on my screen, and then I'm gonna close that, and then I'm gonna open up again the accounts payable, and now look for um, a duplicate key analysis that excludes. So some fields that must be different would be the pay fields to match. So let's, so let's do the fields to match first. The supplier number. Oh, no, 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 no. 
fields that must be different would be the payee, right? So if I have the same supply number, but different payee, I want it to show up and I'm gonna call this file name as supply number multiple payee. So I'm gonna look for instances where my supply number has different payee names. That's kind of weird. It should always be the same. Let's press okay, run the analysis and uh, Chimps Tea Party. It, this could be based on, oh, you have different supplier number, same name with different numbers as well. So this should give me about 121 records. Let me look at the field statistics and run it. I have 121 records. So let me go ahead and, and, and go back to the data on this and print screen it. Make sure that I get the assignment correct. And then I'm going to do another one. Save this. Okay, I'm going to save this. Now let's test for payments to suppliers with similar naming conventions. And for this, we're going to perform a, a fussy duplicate task. Uh, and the way we do that is we open the analysis, explore duplicate key, and we are going to look at fussy logic so that idea can look and see how, um, how closely they should find uh, these records. So from the characters field list, oh, let me make sure I'm recording. All right, so let's define the key um, that we were going to use. We're going to look at the character fields for the supplier. Let me make sure that I'm following this correctly to the supplier name or the pay we're going to look at the pay name and see if there is any way to match the fields even if they're not exactly the same so we're going to use pay as the um key to match or to be analyzed and we're going to keep using the fuzzy match allowing records in multiple fuzzy groups and including exact duplicates to our search uh, we are um gonna make sure that we leave the checkbox for match case to be clear so that upper and lower case characters at, can be viewed as identical right um and we can move this all the way to the right to make sure that it only finds things that are very similar or we can bring it all the way down to make sure that we can find more fussy logic to the left right so that we can um open up the variety of, of things that could match but you know a good compromise would be under 80 percent well at least that's what our assignment is asking us to go with 80 percent and we're going to call this a fussy duplicate record so we're looking for vendors that look the same um and i did not i did not do this correctly all right so i have I have done this possibly wrong because I must have used a different similarity key. Um, let me do it again. Let me go to accounts payable, look at duplicate key, fuzzy logic. Um, let's look at fuzzy matches that go to 80% with the key of um, character fields to be under the pay name. I pressed OK, right? I guess I must have not done that before. Then we press OK. And I'm getting the wrong one because we do have a bunch of sets. OK, so let's forget about that. Let me go back and do the analysis again. Uh, now without having an exact match. I'm going to show all of them. Press OK. All right, so now that I got rid of the exact duplicates, right? In this case, I was allowing the exact duplicates to come up again. And this may be useful, right? If I have duplicates with the same, but it's 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 more it's noisier. 
Um, and I am not looking at anything that is necessarily the same. It's 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 normal to have payments to the same vendor, uh, but not payments that are not that are not always written in with the same name, the same pay, exactly the same pay. That would worry me over. So here we have again those cash transactions, right? That cash ink, Matt Cash and Co. Uh, Co and Cash Inc. If we are to look at Matt Cash and Co. for the pay, right? It looks like it's the same. Let's look at the amount. The amount is for eighty-three thousand dollars, right? And then there's one for one hundred ninety thousand dollars. The invoice is eight seven nine ninety cents. So it looks like it's very similar in terms of the amount. So this would worry. They, this was. This would create, this would be highly suspicious. These may be payments to for different invoices, so they may not be as suspicious as these two. All right, so let's print screen that, and that should be something that we we'll definitely have to look at um, for auditing purposes. And let me stop sharing. And that's it. That's all for this particular 3A.